Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role. A bunch of us nerdy ass sports actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We're the Dungeons and Dragons! Case in point. Uh, before we jump into tonight's uh, game, we have some announcements to get through. So, uh, first and foremost, we have our first of two sponsors for tonight's episode, beginning with our friends at D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond! What, what is it now? Guys, finally, the election for presidency of D&D Beyond is officially open. Head over to D&D Beyond to cast your vote for real. Get special rewards just for voting, like character sheet backgrounds and portrait frames. Voting closes August 2nd during the live show at Gen Con during intermission. Go vote now at dndbeyond.link slash CR election. Now, to wrap out the campaign, nothing too crazy tonight. We're just gonna, each each of us, me and Liam, are gonna just read a brief uh, closing statement. That's it. So, uh, cue the stirring music. <clears throat> sure. Mm. My fellow Sam Americans, for months you have watched me compete for your vote. I've weathered insults, I've survived scandal, and I've pushed through very far too long comedy bits like this one. I know that many of you think that I haven't taken this race as seriously as I should have. After all, the president of D&D Beyond is a real position that demands respect and true leadership. Which is why tonight, I have no gag. There's no comedy, there's no joke, no sound effects or master debating. There's no mime, clown, juggler waiting in the wings. <laughs> Not the time, Max. Not the time. Tonight, I'm just gonna be real, all right? Hi. I'm Sam Regal, an ordinary guy who wants to bring D&D Beyond into the future. Rules, structure, I get it, okay, it's important, but that spark that brings us to this table every Thursday night, the excitement of the unknown, that, that anything can happen in D&D, that's what this game that we love and my campaign are all about. Preserving the game, sure, but also evolving it and hooking a new generation of DMs and players. With this app, we can all build great encounters and great things together. I'm Sam Regal, the kind of guy you'd, you'd want to—the kind of guy you'd want to hang out with at a bar while you sip a beer, and while I sip a 2015 Bryant Family Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> I'm Sam Regal, a man of the people. I put on my pants in the morning just like you guys with one servant per leg and two more strapping on my girdle. I'm Sam Regal, a regular Joe. When I get back from work, my dog Zuckerberg always jumps up and greets me at the airlock. My two lovely kids, um, Jim, Jim, James, I wanna say Jim, and the girl, uh, well, they're the love of my life, the apple of my eye. I couldn't do this without them. You know what, I think there might be a third kid, but don't quote me on that. I'm Sam Regal, and no matter what you may think of me, I'm devoted every Thursday night for the past 18 months to bring a, to shining a weird, wacky, musical, and sometimes clever light on the fine people at D&D Beyond. Why should I lead them? Well, because I literally have no other skills. So please, give me this chance to show what I can bring to this company, to this game we love, to D&D, and beyond. Thank you, and God bless, you know what, it's just two kids. I think the third one was just over for a sleepover that night, and I got confused, but it's just two kids. God bless Sam America. Liam? Uh, cut, cut the music, please. Cut the music! What's happening? Oh no. No. Listen, folks, uh, I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad under Regal's stewardship of D&D &D Beyond. The bits are getting longer and the prep time is getting shorter. <laughs> Misinformed players are getting TPK'd across the globe. Matthew Mercer is hiding from Silly String under the table. His wife is punching players left and right and there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do and there's no end to it. We know the spots are unfit for broadcast and the details are factually incoherent and we sit here watching our Twitch accounts while this organ grinder monkey would have us believe that D&D &D Beyond is about the yucks and how many dicks we can slide into the conversation as if that's the way it's supposed to be. 
We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy and nobody questions it anymore. We sit at our tables and slowly the game we enjoy is turning into romper room. And all we can do is say, please, I love this game so much. Just give me my half orc and hit dice. I promise I'll listen to this madman's wine preferences and <laughs> awful accent work week after week. <laughs> if just critical role will give me 10 minutes of actual gameplay this week, I guess that's enough. But I say that's not enough. <laughs> I want you to get mad. I don't want you to riot, I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write to Chris Perkins because I don't know what to tell you to write. <laughs> oh God. I don't know what to do about this man's ignorance of rogue mechanics, <laughs> or the flagrant furball shooting, or the collusion with England, or the constant ego fluffing. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. Oh my God. You've got to stand up and say, I'm a D&D &D Beyond user. God damn it, these stats have value. <laughs> So, I want you all to get up. I want you to get up out of your chairs. All of you, right now, I want you to go and spam the Twitch chat. Get up and hammer that election box with your Johnson. I want you to create disgruntled fan art. I want you to get up and grab your computer, enable voice to text, and I want you to yell. I want you to yell, I'm mad, mad. I want you to yell, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take Sam anymore. Morden Kynan is rolling in his grave. <laughs>